again. Welcome back to another video where I record myself on autopilot while thinking in the back of my head how much I'd rather be aimlessly scrolling through Twitter right now. Today's video is going to be talking about a very important piece of my childhood. And if you, the viewer, are anywhere close to the type of person I would openly associate with, an important piece of your childhood as well. So listen up and listen closely, you hear? Today we are going to be talking about Super Smash Brothers. Now that I think about it, that title sounds like the name of a very niche porno. Anyways, it was pretty safe to say my reaction was something akin to the sensation that you get when your friend offers the rest of their Pop-Tart to you because they trust you to finish it when they can't. It's a feeling of belonging. Like you really do have a place in this crazy world with good people around you and there's something to look forward to. Except this time, in regards to Smash, the thing you're looking forward to is way fucking farther away than the couple of seconds it'll take for the Pop-Tart you're dying to eat to exchange hands between you and your friend. It's a slow burn, but it's a worthwhile. One. Now, I remember when there was speculation about this game just being a remake or a port of Smash 4 to the Nintendo Switch, which in my heart I knew wasn't true, and by I knew, I mean I hoped, but I ended up being right regardless, so let's skip that bit for a second before I reveal how much of a petty bitch I am. Anyways, we got more information about this game when E3 rolled around, no fucking shit, and Nintendo had their whole digital whatever the fuck presentation they've been doing for however many years now, since whenever the Wii U put a figurative bullet hole in the figurative Nintendo head, but we learned some exciting stuff from what they revealed, including new characters like Daisy, and also Ridley were finally getting into the game, which rendered that meme of characters that won't ever be in Smash thing, and then it's just a picture of Daisy Ridley, the actress of Rey in Star Wars, completely outdated. Sadly though, as I'm sure you all know, Waluigi was robbed once again of his rightful place among the lineup of fighters, and instead of at least hinting at that he could be DLC, as a to rub it in her face that Waluigi wasn't in the game, when Nintendo mentioned that you could hurt assist trophy characters in the game, guess which character they used to demonstrate this feature? <laughs> they did him dirty. They did Waluigi so fucking dirty. Waluigi, hallelujah. Waluigi, hallelujah. I heard that was a secret way that David Wayne and it is the way, but you don't really care for the music to Wayne. But all that aside, what some people may consider the most exciting news among all of it, news that had to be so good that it had to make up for the rejection of Waluigi from the game yet again was that every single character that has ever been playable in Smash Brothers was going to be on the ultimate roster. Yup, this is old news at this point, but every third party character, all DLC characters, characters who hadn't been playable in Smash games for a decade like Wolf and Ice Climbers were coming back, it was like our Lord and Savior Sakurai truly had heeded our calls and answered our prayers. If that ain't proof that God listens, I don't, I don't really know what else you can ask for. But the sin of not giving Waluigi his due will come back. We have forgiven, not forgotten. But what's even crazier, and is news so big regarding Smash Ultimate that Nintendo hasn't even officially revealed it. News that if officially confirmed by Nintendo could tear the fabric of the space-time continuum into little Oreo thin-sized pieces is news that will shock you. You see, when we were told that everybody was here in Smash Bros Ultimate, they weren't just talking about every character that's ever been on a Smash roster. For the ultimate version of Smash Bros, Sakurai wanted to create the most epic and incredible roster ever conceived in a fighting game. When the trailer said everybody is here, the trailer meant literally everybody. And I don't just mean in the way of everybody can make a me fighter that represents themselves. I mean the entire human population. All 7.3 billion of you fuckers are all set to become playable characters in Smash. Not only that, but every character to have ever been conceived in a work of fiction from any medium is also now going to be a playable character. Playable in Smash. That's right, you heard me. Spider-Man, Master Chief, the Geico Lizard, the fucking paperclip from Microsoft Word. They're all here, baby! And that's not even beginning to scratch the very surface of the list. Literally every Everybody but Waluigi has made it into this game. When this was first discovered, it was quickly documented and archived in the game's official Wikipedia page. Okay, as you can see here, we're on the Wikipedia page for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Let me show you just what I'm talking about down in the development section. It starts here, and they forgot to put a space right here for some reason. At some point in development, the team, with Sakurai and likely SpongeBob himself at the helm of the group, they decided to shift their focus to creating an all-encompassing Super Smash Bros. game with every possible character imaginable as playable in the game. From people in real life to every fictional character ever created, regardless of whether or not Nintendo could manage to obtain the rights to said characters or likenesses, it is speculated based on leaked footage that can no longer be found anywhere on the internet that Sakurai made this choice after he got so sick of being told to add certain characters to the game that he just decided to put literally everyone imaginable into the game. Like shit, this dude went fucking ham this time around just like
like he did every other time, give him a break, lads. And they forgot to put a space there too. Weird. Once the news about this development started leaking, the experts over at the Grande YouTube channel got straight to work on trying to uncover more info about the fighter list. What they were able to find was something absolutely shocking. And it's an impressive feat by anyone's standard. They were able to find unreleased promotional material for several YouTubers that will be featured in the game as playable characters. What you just saw is only a small taste of what's in store for this game. Now this trailer was widely speculated to act as a sort of teaser for what's to come as they showcase what the more pre-established characters will play like in the game. Soon after Grande slash Grande slash Fuck You uncovered this promotional material, part of which I've shown here, much more of this promotional material has become uncovered and shared in droves. Some users were kind enough to dig up, find, and send me the trailer that included me and some of my friends being announced as characters. It's pretty cool, I know. I have a trailer for being in a Smash game. Now with all of these characters being announced, I wanted to find out who some of my friends were looking forward to playing as the most. So I did. Yo. Yo, what's up, man? Uh, Matthew, Hello. I was just curious, uh, what what characters are you looking forward to play most in the new Smash Bros? Uh, I'm looking for this combo pack. I'm looking forward to this combo pack that's coming out, where it's basically, you get to play as a cannon beans, and its weapon is uh, the Cars, Cars 2 DVD. Oh, I'm definitely looking forward to that leather boot that has teeth, you know? I think that's going to be the winner. Is that what your profile picture is? Oh, yeah, 100%. Uh, you know, personally, I think I'm most excited to play as a used Dave & Buster's card. What the fuck? Uh, and you can use the disc as a projectile to throw it at your enemies and cut them in half, like Speedwagon in JoJo with his hat. Bro, you have no, dude, legit. I can't wait to play as Taylor Lonta. I can't wait to just turn into a celestial werewolf being and just tear the heart out of Mario. Who the fuck wait. is that? Joey's World Tour. Get the fuck out. <laughs> what? He's a great fucking character! Who? Taylor Lonther. What do you mean? Sorry, who is Mario? Oh, my, I, I said Mario? I meant Wally! I was just curious, what character are you looking forward to playing as most in the new Smash Bros? Jeff. It was a very mixed pool of answers in my opinion, at least in regards to what characters that they mentioned that I'm also looking forward to play as. I know I'm definitely excited to play around with the mechanics of the Cars 2 disc as a weapon, but I'm not so sure that I'm going to be trying to main Joey's World Tour in any capacity. The only way I think I'll be doing that is if his Spinal Smash is consuming the entirety of the game data, including the physical cartridge, so you have to buy a new copy in order to keep playing. Now before I forget, and because I'm sure you guys care so much, let me run over some characters that I am personally excited to play as in this upcoming Smash game. The first character I'm looking forward to playing as is definitely gotta be Elon Musk. Not only do I think his playstyle will be very interesting, but I'm hoping his taunts are creative and involve calling people names. And not to mention, I'd imagine that Nintendo will be incorporating a lot of the technology that Musk is involved with into his moveset, and if we're lucky, we might see some tech that Elon Musk has completed but hasn't released to the public yet, or at least made them aware of. We might see the first sneak peek at a real-life Iron Man suit, and that's exciting, my friend. I'm also really hyped to play as 2010 PewDiePie. I have high hopes that his moveset will involve a lot of physical fisticuff type combat because of his much stronger connection to calling his viewers bros back then when he would call us bros and we actually felt like a family to him instead of just soulless beings on the internet that harass him on his subreddit. I'm hoping for a lot of taunts involving barrels and also incorporation into the story mode with those barrels. Another character I'm definitely looking forward to play as is Leafy. Most of his combat I imagine would have to be verbally based, like he'll call someone a big dumb idiot and hurt their feelings bad enough that they just take physical damage from it, and also I'm hoping his taunts will be up to date and give us some insight into what 2018 Leafy might be doing these days. Come to think of it, there is another way that we might be able to get insight into these characters. That way is if Snake's codec on all the characters from Super Smash Bros. Brawl makes a return in Ultimate. It could be very useful in finding out information about characters we haven't heard from in a while, like Leafy. Getting all the information to implement this feature could be very tough for Nintendo though. If they're really trying to get info on every character in the game to give them all a codec, they'll need to collect information on every person that exists or even has existed. Fictional and non-fiction. To do this, it seems like that they've enlisted the help in the partnership of both the NSA and the CIA, among other government agencies, to help them get information on people for Snake's codec. If that isn't dedication to a game's development, then I really don't know what is. What I'm also gonna have to commend is also the voice actor who's gonna have to voice all the lines for this codec. They've got a lot of work ahead of them. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like. Tell me in the comments below what character you're looking forward to playing as most in the next Smash Bros game. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe. I have a podcast
podcast with Wild Spartans and FBS Diesel called Loudmouse. I upload two new videos every week and we're up on iTunes, SoundCloud, and YouTube. You guys can follow me on Twitter at Quite and on Instagram at Quite.png. Links to both of those in the description. And lastly, I have a Discord server. Link to that in the description as well if you're interested. Anyways, this has been Quite and I'll see you guys next time.